Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video and I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing how I recently made over $1,300 by selling items on Facebook Marketplace. This video is gonna be structured kind of like a story time, but also jam packed with really helpful tips that will help you guys make money on Facebook Marketplace as well. So my Facebook Marketplace journey first started a couple months ago when the weather started getting warmer and I was thinking about spring cleaning and I was going through my apartment Apartment and seeing all of this stuff that was just taking up space I hadn't used it in a while and I just wanted to get rid of it I wanted it gone so I was wondering how I was gonna get rid of it and I thought of just packing it all up and bringing it to the thrift store but that broke my heart a little bit because I was thinking about all of the money that I had put into these items so I thought well what about if I could sell some of these and then recoup at least a little bit of the money that I had spent on them to begin with so I had never used Facebook marketplace before I had sold things online but I would only use buy and sell Facebook groups or I would sell on Kijiji which is basically like the Canadian version of Craigslist it's just a buy and sell website but most of the time when I would try and sell things online by doing it this way I would put up an ad and it would sit there for a couple weeks or a month and I would end up just bringing the stuff to the thrift store so that's kind of what I thought was gonna happen but I thought I'll just give it a go and I hear people talking about Facebook marketplace all the time and how great it is so I'm just gonna try and figure it out and post some stuff there and see if it sells so so there were three items that we were gonna initially try and sell on Facebook Marketplace. A little grill that we had for the kitchen, some clothing items that I had, and then Aaron's drone. As I was going through our stuff, these were the three main things that stood out to me that I felt like had a real possibility of selling on Facebook Marketplace. They were a little bit like higher ticket items that I thought people would go for, but I was really surprised when I opened up the Facebook Marketplace app on my phone and saw what type of items people were actually posting and selling books and home decor, just small little random items that you would never think would actually sell, but were selling. So after I saw this, I went back and did even more decluttering and came up with a bunch of stuff that I was going to try and sell. Things like an old mirror, a bunch of books, some old flowers that I was going to just toss out, but that I figured, well, I might as well try and sell them. Just so much stuff that I wanted to post and see if I could get any money at all for them. After I had a bunch of my old stuff in a big pile in my living room, the next thing I I did was clean it all up and then I staged the items for photos and this is very very important it's so much harder to sell things online when you don't have a good photo of the item nobody wants to buy an item that's in a dark room covered in dust that's full of other clutter you want to make sure that people are able to see the item that you're trying to sell really well and that they're able to picture it in their own home so that's what I would do with all of my items I would stage it to look really nice I'd have a clear white background I might even even add like a little plant alongside of the item that I was trying to sell to make it look even nicer. I didn't put a whole bunch of time into it. Like don't make this a professional photo shoot by any means, but it's just making the item look as nice as possible for people who are browsing on Facebook Marketplace. So I'll put some examples up on the screen here of the photos I've taken of items that I've recently sold so that you can get kind of an idea of what I'm talking about. Another thing I want to mention about taking photos of your items is that you shouldn't edit the photos too much after you take them because you want the photo to be as true to the item as possible. You want people to know exactly what they're getting if they decide to purchase from you. So the only thing I ever do in terms of editing my photos for Facebook Marketplace is bring up the brightness so that you can see the item even better. So as soon as I took a few nice pictures and wrote a detailed description of all of my items and posted it on Facebook Marketplace, I was getting messages pretty much right away. I was so excited to actually be selling items that I would normally just drop off at the thrift store and get no money for. So so as I mentioned earlier in the video, Aaron's drone was definitely the largest, most expensive item that we sold on Facebook Marketplace. Some of the regulations in Nova Scotia have changed, so you actually need to have like a small pilot's license to be able to legally fly a drone. And that's just not something that me or Aaron were really interested in doing. And then if you're caught flying the drone without a license and without a permit, it can be like a $2,000 fine. And the drone had only been flown a couple times since he got it in 20. 18. It's a really awesome machine and piece of equipment and we loved it for the couple times that we got to use it but it's just so expensive and we couldn't have it just sitting in our apartment not being used. So we decided to try and sell it on Facebook Marketplace and in a couple weeks we had somebody message us actually from another province which I will say we were a little bit wary about at first because if somebody messages you wanting you to ship an item for them they're not in your area you should be very careful with this. Do not ship anything until 
until you have the money in your bank account. I cannot stress that enough. Sometimes people will send money through PayPal and then cancel it. I told this guy who wanted to buy the drone from out of province that we could ship it to him, but I had to have the full payment amount in my bank account through e-transfer first. Another thing that the guy said who purchased our drone online was that he had his own FedEx account and was perfectly comfortable paying for the shipping himself. So he gave me his account number. I could check it out and make sure everything was okay. And then I could ship it through FedEx with no charge to myself. I took pictures of all of the shipping labels and the receipt so that he was okay with it too. And it was a very easy process, but you do have to be very careful when you're shipping things and when you're selling things online to other people, because I don't want you guys to get scammed. So ultimately we were able to sell the drone and all of its parts hassle-free for $800, which was a really good chunk of money to go back into our bank account. So as I was going through all of my decluttering and selling on Facebook marketplace, I was telling my mom all about it and how much money I was making and how much stuff I was able to get rid of. And she said, well, I have a bunch of stuff that I've been meaning to get rid of and it doesn't make any difference to me if I sell it. So why don't I just give it to you to sell it and you can make a little bit of extra money. So that was super exciting. I went to her house and I got a whole bunch of her old stuff that she didn't want anymore. One of the things that she gave me to sell was a big wall art canvas and it still had the price tag on it. The original price was $70 and it was in such good condition that I was able to sell it for 50. So only $20 less than she originally bought it for. When it comes to pricing your items on Facebook Marketplace, I always recommend looking for similar items and seeing what those ones are going for. Because if one type of item is being sold for $20, you don't wanna sell that exact same item for $80 because obviously nobody is gonna buy your item when they can get it so much cheaper. So I would recommend being competitive and pricing it around the same price as other items that are similar on Facebook Marketplace. But if you want your item to sell particularly fast, you can always go a little bit lower and then people will be more inclined to buy your item. So the next thing I wanted to talk about in this video is how I started buying and then reselling on Facebook Marketplace to make a profit. So if you guys didn't watch my last video, which was a thrift haul, I'll link it down below if you didn't see it. I mentioned how I purchased an espresso machine, which was originally $250 for only $10 at the thrift store. I also talked about how much good luck I have when I'm thrift shopping and how I always find really great items. One of those items being a second Nespresso machine. And obviously I didn't need two, but it was too good of a deal to pass up. So I bought it for $10, I sold it for 60 and I made a $50 profit. All it took was me finding that Nespresso machine and being able to sell it for a profit for me to be absolutely hooked on buying and reselling. But I do wanna stress the fact that I am always honest. I always test things multiple times before I sell them. I make sure that they are in excellent condition and I never sell anything online that doesn't work or that I wouldn't wanna use myself. Some of the other things that I've been able to buy and then resell are Ninja blenders, Magic Bullet blenders. I also found an Instant Pot. So I bought the Instant Pot for $8.99 and then I sold it for $50. So that was a really good profit. Again, I tested it a couple times and it worked perfect. It was in awesome condition. Oh, I've also sold toaster ovens, crock pots, food processors, so many kitchen appliances that were in excellent condition that still had a lot of life left in them. And that is how I ended up making $1,300 just by selling on Facebook Marketplace. It actually amazes me how many people won't even go into thrift stores because they're grossed out by other people's stuff. But if you bring it home in your own house, you boil all the parts, you wipe everything down really good and you clean it up, it looks just like new most of the time. And another thing that I'll do with appliances specifically is I'll always run them through a few times just to make sure that they're perfectly clean. So for example, I've bought and sold a couple Keurig machines and I'll always run just plain hot water through it for or five times to make sure all of the dust has gone out of it and it's as clean as possible. All right, everyone. So that's it for today's video. That's how I made $1,300 by selling on Facebook Marketplace. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and also hit the red subscribe button if you're new. Down below in the description, I have my Etsy shop, my Instagram, my Facebook page, all of that stuff. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.